what I want to show you here is um, one of the ways you can use the inherent flexibility of the tissue in the breast and the way that you can't in the liver and the thyroid um, to be able to get your needle into the right place. So imagine we're looking down onto the breast here and here is um, the lesion that we're trying to biopsy. So we go in with our needle and we find that our needle, which happens quite often, is on the edge of the, need <coughs> edge of the lesion rather than through the center of the lesion. Is our transducer here. Now sometimes we can just sort of push the needle away from us and get into the right position but sometimes that doesn't work everything the lesion pushes away with us as well um, and particularly in patients who have dense breasts. So another way of doing it is we can rotate both the needle and the transducer using the lesion here as the fulcrum the center of the rotation point. Um, here we're on uh, the lesion is away from us, or the needle's on the near side of us. And what we're going to do is we'll, we'll rotate the hub of the needle towards us. We'll rotate the transducer away from us. And you'll see then that our needle is now straight through the center of the lesion. And this works incredibly well. Now what about the opposite situation where the needle is on the far side of the lesion rather than the near side of the lesion? Well, we just do the opposite. Instead of rotating uh, clockwise like we did previously, this time we're going to rotate counterclockwise. And again, we'll end up with our needle in the center of the lesion like that. So just to reiterate, if the needle is towards us, so the lesion's away from us, and we scan back and forth, we're going to rotate everything clockwise. When the needle's on the far side of the lesion, away from us, we're going to rotate counterclockwise.